everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today I'm really excited to talk about the Stingray 235 LR. Uh, this is a, a model that's been in the Stingray line for, for many years, but it, it's got a lot of cool features, a lot of value. It's, it's what they call a sport deck boat, so it's, you know, it's got the deep features of a traditional bow rider, but the wider bow, um, of, of kind of similar to a deck boat. Uh, but there's definitely some cool things about this boat. It really is a, a premium feeling boat at more of a mid-level price. Um, this particular one is set up with the wake tower, you know, some hyper graphics on it to kind of make it a little bit more modern, a little bit more, uh, you know, new age as far as the styling goes. But, you know, let's go over some, some key features of this boat. First one I'm going to talk about is just the general depth of the boat. I'm sitting here on the, when it's sitting on the trailer. This is a 24 foot boat, but it's very, very deep. So if you're, you know, taking it in some, you know, bigger waters or Lake Erie or something like that, it can definitely handle that. You know, particularly on a calmer day, um, you're going to feel like you're deep inside the boat. Um, you know, so the high freeboard um, is definitely a feature that people benefit from this as, as you compare it to maybe deck style boats that are shallower. Uh, this one's got the depth of a traditional bow rider. So I'll talk a little bit about the bow. We talked about how it's a little bit wider flared bow, similar to a deck boat. You do have a bow boarding ladder on this boat, as well as a uh, dedicated uh, anchor locker here in the front. Um, the other thing I'll point out, which is common with all the Stingray boats that are built in South Carolina, you get a lot of saltwater use out of them, at least the, the company does. So every piece of hardware on the boat, you know, from the rub rail to the ladder to the cleats to the, you know, different pieces, parts of the boat, there's, so there's a lot of stainless steel. So you're gonna see that you know, throughout, um, in, in general, just a nice roomy wide bow area that you'd similarly find on a deck boat. So just a couple of things to point out here at the transom area, the 235 LR. This particular boat's equipped with a uh, Merc Cruiser 4.5 liter, 250 horsepower engine. This one actually has a duo stainless steel prop, so it's got the, uh, the Bravo 3 drive control. Um, so that just makes it a little bit, uh, you know, quicker out of the hole. Um, a little bit more bite um, in cornering and stuff like that. I've personally driven this boat with just the traditional Alpha Drive and Stingrays are always known because of their Z-plane hull configuration for being fast hole shots. But with the extra Bravo Drive and the double stainless steel, you're gonna get a little bit extra performance out of this particular boat. We also see trim tabs um, is included as part of this package. And the trim tabs, you don't really need to get up on plane, but if you're trying to trim the boat out from a standpoint of you know, trying to be balanced from left to right so the boat runs kind of true um, as opposed to leaning one way or the other, that's where the trim tabs come into play. But overall, plenty of power for this boat for pretty much any application. Um, you know, quick hole shots, quick top end speed. Uh, this is gonna be one of the faster 24 foot boats you're gonna find. Um, so that's why in a lot of cases, the Stingray, you can definitely get away with the less horsepower. You're gonna increase your fuel efficiency um, and it'll run really great. So in the cockpit area, we've got on this 24 foot boat, it, it's a really big feeling cockpit. It feels a lot even bigger than a 24 footer. Um, we've got the nice transom walkway here. This cushion actually fills in up over here. So if you wanted to make this a full length uh, a sun pad, you can do that. A couple other little things I like about this boat uh, is you do have the battery switched on off. It's easy access, easily accessible. You don't have to open a compartment to get to it. And then from a safety perspective, you know, if the engine did catch fire, you can actually just shoot a fire extinguisher through there without having to open up and worry about the flames coming out of the engine compartment. Um, so in addition to that, we've got uh, uh, a nice little kind of sink area and cooler off here on the starboard side, uh, which, is, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, have that built into the boat. You, you, you don't usually see that on boats this size. Normally you have to go bigger. Um, and then additional storage underneath the bench seats here. And again, a lot of stainless steel highlight and accent. So move to the dash area, the 235LR. Um, you know, I'm a bigger guy, six foot two. I've got just tons of leg room. Obviously the seat's adjustable, the uh, throttle control. I've actually kind of got a nice elbow rest over here um, on the right hand side. Um, and then, you know, pr pretty traditional gauge setup. You know, all your traditional instrumentation, your depth finder, which is optional in this boat, but we include it. Um, there's enough space over here to the right if you wanted to mount a GPS or a graph, you absolutely could. Your trim tab controls over here on the right hand side, your stereo controls on the left hand side. So again, pretty clean, nice visibility through the windshield um, and just an overall comfortable helm area. You know, a couple cup holders, a couple little little storage areas down here to the, to the right of me. Um, you know, so overall just a, a nice setup here for the, uh, the dash of the 235LR. 
So one of the things I really like about this boat um, and other boats in that 24 foot range is where you start to see, you know, head compartments, but you know, this one's actually a pretty decent size. Um, you know, plenty big enough for somebody my size to get in there. Um, it's actually finished off real nice with a, you know, kind of like a grab handle in there, the, the porta potty with the side pump out, kind of a little flooring built in there, a little counter. Um, you know, so really a good size that you know, anybody can get into. Um, or if you're not going to use it for that purpose, obviously there's additional storage for rafts or life jackets or stuff like that. Um, but you know, one of the nicer head compartments I've seen in a 24 foot boat um, and a key feature. Um, other storage that you're going to find on this boat, you do have a ski locker, um, you know, big size underneath the floor here. I'm not going to pull it up too high, but you've got, obviously there's the cover for the boat that's included, uh, but a nice finished off ski locker. Again, a good water management system with a drain in there. And then on the starboard side, you've got a, a big compartment here that's actually got a nice little trash can receptacle um, and just a ton of storage um, in that compartment as well. So it's moving to the bow area, the Stingray 235. Um, and we talked about this earlier, how, how wide it is. Um, there are cushions that kind of fill in this whole area if you want to kind of make it a full, you know, kind of a bed layout. This has an optional dinette table uh, that you, know, you can actually put either up here in the bow or you can put it in the cockpit area. There's two positions for it, you know, but there's tons of space for, you know, myself, 6'2", layout with my feet forward. There's a ton of depth on the side here. Again, sturdy stainless steel grab handles, cup holders, padding around both sides so you're not leaning against fiberglass. Um, so overall, a good layout here in the bow. Um, there actually is a built-in cooler up here underneath this cushion. So you can actually have a built-in cooler in addition to the removable cooler in the back. And then we also talked about it up front, how you have your bow ladder and then also an anchor locker storage up here as well. So really maximizing the usable space up here in the bow. Um, and overall a really, really good efficient design on the 235 Stingray. So as we talk about the power in the engine, the Mercruiser 4.5 250, which with the Bravo drive is going to be plenty of power to, to use this boat for pretty much anything you want to do. There actually is additional storage on either side of the engine for you know, some tubs or some other things that you want, might want to store away to, you know, that aren't necessarily as easily accessible with some of your safety gear that you don't get to all the time. Um, you know, you might store back there. So storage is just ample in this boat. Um, so again, thanks for checking out the Stingray 235 with LR with us here at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information to view our inventory, look at our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. We do videos for brands like Stingray and 13 others. So uh, we appreciate all the feedback we get from all around the country on these videos. And thanks for watching.